The always hilarious conservative Christian host, Pastor David Manning, has a dire warning for gay people or people thinking about being gay. I want to ask you if you have ever been injected with the sodomite demon. Have you ever had that demon injected in you? Now, I tell women, and I preach this all the time in our church, I say, you know, if you have sexual intercourse with a man and he plants his semen inside of you, that semen, whether it makes you pregnant or not, uh, enters into your blood system. It go, your womb is a place for the receptacle and it goes into your blood system. And whatever he has in his blood is in your blood. And for instance, if he has a disease in his blood through his semen, and the, the semen is the cream of the blood, semen is produced by the blood. It is the cream, it is the, it is the power, it is the cream of blood. That's just no other way to say it. It isn't blood itself, it is even more powerful than blood. It can actually produce life, semen. But if your blood, if a man puts his semen in you, I teach women, that, and if it's disease, you're gonna get that disease. You're gonna, whatever that, whether it's AIDS or syphilis or uh, one of these other diseases, you're gonna get it, because it's gonna go right into your blood system, right through your vagina, right through your womb. If a man injects himself in you, if a man injects himself in another man and injects his semen into him and he's crazy, then that's going to get in his blood as well. And if demons are in him, then those demons, are gonna, you're going to get penetrated by demons. You're going to get penetrated by demons. You know, even the kissing of someone who has demons in their blood, that saliva can give you a disease. I posted up on our announcement board that sodomy is metastasized here in Harlem and people in restaurants and our own dates need to be very, very careful. Why am I saying all of this? I'm saying this to, to say to you, perhaps you first got introduced to these demons in your life, sodomy, when you had no defense. And you couldn't help it. You saw that there was a good looking man and you said to yourself, oh, I bet he's got some nice semen demons. I'd like to see the semen demons squirt out of his head of his penis like this. Oh God, you're so sad, David Manning. You're so sad. No, did you catch it at the very beginning? He he's asking like I, I like I want to talk to you I guess callers in his radio show or whatever have you been inflicted or injected with the the semen the 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 devil semen the demon semen <laughs> so it's like he's inquiring he's like oh I really want to hear about this demon semen cuz it's so hot I mean I'm against it cuz the devil's wrong the devil's bad now we know we already know we covered the story uh, the young turks the main channel they did an interview with uh david manning and uh, jank and anna got him to admit like oh yes i've been tempted for sure i was in jail when i was in jail i was tempted to fuck men i was very interested in it but i didn't give in to that temptation but i felt it oh it was there i felt it it was so strong no the guy doesn't get it like dude that means you're gay that means you're at least bisexual Okay, that that's that, that is what it means. Maybe you're uh, physically, sexually attracted to women as well. That would mean you're bisexual. But if you're attracted to men in any way, shape, or form in a sexual way, and you are, you admitted it, that means you're at least bisexual or you're just gay. But he doesn't get it. He doesn't get it. See, that's why he's so frustrated and he always talks about this issue of uh, gay people, gay marriage, gay sex, and all that stuff. Because he's struggling with it himself, and he's fighting off those temptations himself because he really thinks it's wrong. So he's fighting off th those temptations, and so as Dan Savage puts it, he's externalizing an internal struggle. Where he's saying, since I'm fighting with this, I am just going to assume that everybody else is struggling with it. All other guys are struggling with it. We all want to suck a dick every once in a while. Just uh, So let's talk about how we need to fight that urge. But the reality is, the majority of men are not feeling like that. Sorry, Dave, man. It's you. It's you. You're the one who's struggling with it, and you just can't bring yourself to be true to who you are and to say, okay, look, man, 
I want to put baby oil all over my body and ru ru and roll around with Channing Tatum. I can't help it. That's what I want. I want I want his demon semen. <laughs> you see, the semen is the cream of the blood. And if a man's crazy and he ejaculates into you, that means he can ejaculate the crazy into you because the crazy gets in the blood because it's the cream of the blood. The fuck? Scientists were listening to that going, somebody get me a gun. I must kill myself now. This is how far we've come? This is what people believe? The cream of the blood is the cream. And then you also got the pre-cum is like the... It's the 1% the milk of the blood is what I think it is. And it, you can ejaculate demons into other people. Think about the multiple layers of stupid that is. Because he's assuming like a trillion things to make that one dumb comment. So obviously uh, demons are real. Obviously Christianity is true. And obviously demons... Uh, are in your semen, and you ejaculate the demon semen into another person, and it transfers. It's not like the other, the other person has demon antibodies that can fight off the demon semen. Once the demon semen gets into you, fuck, man, you caught the gay demon semen AIDS, or whatever the fuck it's called. Oh, you're so sad, man. Uh, uh, he's living a life in the year 2015 based on biblical superstition and hatred and bigotry and horseshit. It's sad to watch, it's sad to watch, because, you, like, everything you're saying conflicts with reality, conflicts with science, conflicts with common sense, and all you are is a punchline for people like me, who aren't even funny. That's not even what I do, I'm not a comedian. But you're, you're such a caricature that even I can make fun of you, and I talk about the demon semen, and it's funny because it's just that dumb.